as you can tell, I'm in my truck. Um, I've been out running errands. I'm back in my garage now. I just parked in the garage and um, I'm exhausted. Like, I'm so tired. I just, I feel like I can't even go into the house yet because I'm so tired. Um, so, I was like, you know what, why don't I just film a video out here before I even go in. That way I could just sit here for a minute. Um, I have not been sleeping. Like, it's been really hard to sleep for some reason. So, that's why I'm so tired. But, I was out running errands. Um, I actually, I picked up some balloons. are lemon, lemon flavored. Um, these are for like upset stomach or nausea, heartburn, anything like that. They're my favorite um, upset stomach like remedy. So I got them at Kroger. I normally get the regular, like just ginger flavor, but uh, they didn't have it, so I got just lemon. Um, it says Prince of Peace Lemon Ginger Juice is a delicious and convenient way to enjoy all the natural goodness and benefits of ginger and lemon. Grown in the nutrient-rich volcanic soil of the tropical island of Java, ginger packs a punch both in flavor and warmth enhanced with an extra boost of concentrated ginger extract prince of peace lemon ginger juice is the perfect zesty companion for travel home or on the go so i'm excited i'm excited that i got some more because i just ran out Um, USDA organic non-GMO fair 
trade certified and gluten free. So these are the elderberries and that's hibiscus. These are rose hips, the little circular red. Um, and then what, what else did it say? Oh, orange peel. So this must be the orange peel here and licorice. But, um, it broke. Basically, my husband and I were using it to try and do something it's not intended for. We were, like, using it as leverage to, like, push something heavy up. Um, and it broke. <laughs> Go figure. Um, so I grabbed another one. It's a, a silicone.
like a hot mess today, but that's just how it is some days, you know. I, I just, I'm too tired. <laughs> I couldn't be bothered to do my hair.
tweezers. Have you ever just like been in the car driving or just, you know, sitting somewhere and you realize you've got a big hair or just like a small eyebrow hair, something, anything that has to be plucked. And then like you don't have anything to pluck it with. So you're just sitting there like thinking about it all the way until you get home. It happens to me anyway, but I I put these in here to remedy that. Pluck, 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 pluck. So now I have tiny tweezers in the car, just in case. Um, okay, I'm trying not to drop everything. So then I put um, this Dime Beauty uh, sample sized perfume. This one is Malibu Night, and I chose this one because I have a big bottle of Malibu Night uh, in my bedroom, so this one's like an extra scent, you know, that I already have a big one of it, so I decided to put this little tiny one in the car, just in case. This one is because it's um, getting low. I've almost used it up, so it's a good choice to have in here because I'll um, use it up faster. It smells so good. The Yuzu lemon smell is so nice. Very citrusy. Okay, so next... is 
there's like a little notepad. It's just, um, lined paper. And you can even, you know, if you both write things down, then you can just tear this off and give it to them. Um, that's why I like the notepad, because it makes it easier. If they don't have something to write with or paper, you know, there's pens enough for everybody and paper enough for everybody. And, um, I keep this in the driver's door, um, near the ground. There's like a little compartment on the door itself. And the reason I do that is because of the next item. So, on the big pouch. Um, I used to also have a little first aid kit in here. I had a little envelope first aid kit. I ended up using that up and I need to put another one in here. That's a good idea. Um, this reminds me that I need to do that, so thank you. But this item, this is uh, for if you get in an accident and um, your doors are jammed, you can't get out because the accident has, you know, broken the door. Or um, if your seatbelt is stuck and you can't get it off of yourself um, to be able to get out of the car, then this, that's what this tool is for. So this side cuts your seatbelt. See the razor inside of there? You would um, you would take your seatbelt and put it in there like that. And you could cut the seatbelt um, to get it off of you or other passengers. And then this side, see the metal points? It comes out of this black um, holder. This uh, this black part is just a, a holder for it. But it comes out and you can use this hammer side, either side of it, to smash um, glass windows so that you could crawl out a window if you couldn't get any of the doors open. So that's why I keep it in the driver's side door um because even from a seated position if you're stuck in this position you could reach down and grab this um and obviously if you're the only one in the car you want it on the the driver's side door and um also just a fact um the driver of a car by instinct just natural reflex is most likely to swerve um, to protect themselves in an accident. So, unfortunately, the passenger side is most likely to take the brunt of an impact in an accident. Um, so, it's more likely that the, the passenger would be incapacitated in an accident just by instinct. We will flinch in a way that protects ourselves. That's nothing wrong with that. It's just, it's how it is. So, um, if you had it on the passenger side, even if you had someone with you, it's just a better bet to put it on the driver's side because you're more likely to be the one that isn't injured. Um, obviously both people could be very badly injured, but just statistically... Um, more passenger side accidents have severe uh, injury than driver side accidents. So that's why that's why we keep it over here. This is all stuff I learned as a flight attendant um, in the yearly training um, that we always did. We had training where um, we would learn first aid and first response. Um, for emergencies and situations. So this was some of the stuff we learned. And I want to share it with you because I care about you guys. So um, that, that was all I had. That's all I had to share with you guys today in this video. But um, I hope that you're all doing super well. Um, I hope that you are able to get some good sleep. Maybe um, send some good vibes.
Perhaps I would.